afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very historical day because today is September 11th, 2017. As you can recall many years ago in the United States of America, September was a miserable day where a lot of people have lost their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, today is spiritual because we're sitting here with God's angel right next to me. On my far right is Stanford Brown, the father of okay. Tremaine Brown. To my right, ladies and gentlemen, is God's angel, Tremaine Brown. And to my left is none other than my friend for over 20 years, Michael Smith, AKA Mikey Beard. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I was invited by the Brown's family to come to Rima to have a conversation with Tremaine Brown. But ladies and gentlemen, we are blessed because his father is here. And we want the world to know what kind of a man Stanford Brown is to produce a son as Tremaine Brown. Because Tremaine Brown, ladies and gentlemen, is one in a zillion. Not much people would want to do what Tremaine Brown do. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk with his father first, Stanford Brown. Stanford, welcome to In The Streets. Welcome, welcome. Stanford, who is Stanford Brown to produce a human being like Tremaine Brown? Well, um, Stanford Brown, yeah, um, I was a sufferer. Yes. Um, uh, didn't grow up into a good home, uh, nothing, mm -hmm. but bless me to God, amen, I found God at the right time. Mm -hmm. So, find God at the right time right now, God has uh, been blessing me mm -hmm. and being baptized, go to church and I uh, became to be a minister of religion. You are? A minister of religion. Okay. Um, I'm a minister of religion over five years now. Okay. Okay. I was in London, come back home, build at my church mm -hmm. and so forth. Trimming Brown. Um, first son, mm -hmm. um, I take him to London when he was six years old. Wow. And he done 17 years in London. Wow. And he get to come back to Jamaica mm -hmm. and over six months ago. Six months ago. Six some months ago. Mm -hmm. And he, I think by God's will, he done, done it all for me. Uh, what is the name of your church? The New Independent Baptist Church. The New Independent Baptist Church. And can you imagine, Stanford Brown, in 1865, the Honorable Paul Bogle was also a Baptist minister. And Paul Bogle was selfless, like your son. Paul Bogle actually gave his life for the people of St. Thomas. So you being a Baptist minister and to have a son like Tremaine is a very significant thing. I think the, the gospel is coming to fulfillment because Tremaine now is a bright shining light for the people of Jamaica and the people of the world to see that out of Rima, little Rima, Rima that has been uh, seen as a bad place from time to time, people lost their lives here over political differences and so on, and how can Rima produce this quality of an individual that gave up his life. So tell me more about the church and what the church is doing. Well, at this moment, um, we have um, <coughs> service on um, two times a week, mm -hmm. Sunday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, Where is the church located? Tell everybody in the um, world. 14 First Street. 14 First Street. Kingston 12. Lower Kingston 12. Street, lower um, First Street, Kingston 12. Okay. And we have um, fasting every first Monday, start at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We have our midday service, mm -hmm. um, start at 12. Mm -hmm. We have our night service, start at 7 mm -hmm. o'clock. And things. so we, some, we have baptism, we have um, social, um, social we, we, we guide them mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. And I speak with everybody in the community. Which is a Good great thing. I have to applaud everybody. you for that. Uh, no wonder your son turned out to be the kind of person that he is. What kind of person was Tremaine as a young man coming up? What are your memories of him? Oh, my memories on Tremaine that um, before he go to London, um, he was brilliant because school, work, mm -hmm. and, and 
continue to use to go to basic school, which I came to, I used to came to school myself. Mm -hmm. at school. And um, after my mom passed off, my mom and my grandmother did, did have him. And after my mom passed off and I decided to go to London, I visit to the day that I get married and mm -hmm. get my papers and as I get my status I come from a son. Okay. I came to London. Thank God. Yes. Go to London. So, you know. I think he come back and do a great and marvelous work and I thank God for that because God is good all the time. You're blessed. Your seed is blessed, my brother. And I know people of the world, uh, later on we're going to furnish you, ladies and gentlemen, with a contact number for Stanford Brown and um, how you can get through to him, how you can make donation because his church is right behind me in the middle of Rima. Uh, and, and it needs repair and it needs a whole lot of other stuff to be done so that more people, you can accommodate more people to come and serve the Almighty. I'm not going to get to you, Tremaine, because you're the star, you know, you have to wait till, you know, I'm here with Mikey, Michael Smith. Mikey, how you doing? Well, you're not too bad, you know, <laughs> long time. I haven't seen Mikey in about, what, about 20 years? 20 years about old. 20 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And when I thought about Tremaine, Michael was the person that I called. I just so happened to have Michael's number. And I called Michael about 12 o'clock last night. I said, Mikey, you know Mr. Brown? He said, Tremaine? He said, yes, man, I know Tremaine. I know his father. Where? I said, what? I said, listen, I need to talk to his father and speak to Tremaine. He said, no problem, Big Stone. Tomorrow morning, I'll set up the interview so you can come down here and speak to the Browns. So Mikey, thank you very, very much for doing that. So Mikey, um, what what is Rima like now? I mean, Rima, I've seen it for a share of everything. You know, Rima is a place where, as you, as they say, Bob Marley tell them, they always ask them, question, <laughs> can they make wood come out of Trench Town? Wow. Well, what happened on Friday, show them that Trench Town is ever up and running. And but some of the greats came out of the here. Bob Marley, came out of Trench Town, Bobby Wheeler, Mikey Beard, they are Tremaine say, Brown. Can any good come out of Trench Town? This is something that the world can see for themselves. So there's good in Trench Town every time. And I did yeah. a vlog yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, and the vlog I did was about Tremaine. And while I was talking about Tremaine, my eyes got teared up because to see someone in a gully that is moving faster than the speed of Irma. Irma travels at 170 miles, five miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Irma travels at 175 miles an hour. And that gully at Callismith Drive was going faster than that. And what really caught me was the fact that Tremaine, 20, what, three or 24? 24 years old, clutched onto little Ronaldo Reynolds for dear life and he never let go. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, Tremaine Brown. Tremaine, it is an honor for me to meet with you. Um, I feel special today. Tremaine, tell me a little bit about yourself. You said you were a basketball player. Um, I enjoy anything to do with sports. Anything to do with sports? Yes. So you're a footballer also? Yeah. How tall are you, man? 6'2", so ladies and gentlemen, that in itself is risky. In a gully, moving at 175, 180 miles an hour, mm. anything could have been sticking out in that gully. It could be an old piece of iron, it could have been a rock, it could have been some. What was it like traveling faster than the speed of sound? Because that's what it appears. What was it like in that gully? It was frightening. It was frightening. Mm -hmm. What made you do it? Because that, 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 that is a million dollar question that I can't answer. What makes you do it, man? Only God can tell you. Only God can tell you. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, when I did the research on Tremaine, I found out that little Ronaldo lived only meters away. Close proximity. Tremaine has never met him before. So it's not like he knows little Ronaldo and has a liking for little Ronaldo. He didn't know little Ronaldo from Adams. It is a remarkable thing. Um, one thing that really touches me though was the fact that you said, and I was watching you on television, you say while he was going through that gully, tell me the rest. You grab onto a limb. And as I'm holding onto you know, it, hold as I'm holding onto the limb, the boy in my pray, mm -hmm. and he said, Don't let go of me. Make sure you don't let go of me. And in my 
said chant and chant, but I don't remember the prayer he was saying. Mm -hmm. but all I know that's what people say. Wow. So you see, while he was going through the gully, little Ronaldo was chanting and praying and asking you not to let him go. That in itself, ladies and gentlemen, is a very uh, sad thing. And you know what make me even have more respect for Tremaine? Tremaine could have easily hide that fact to say that he was the one who did it all. He was the one that held on to little Tremaine. He was the one that brought little Tremaine out of death's door. But he also acknowledged with his humility that what Tremaine said in prayer kept him going. That means the Almighty God is real, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let anybody fool you. There is a true and living God. Okay? So Tremaine, um, when you grab the first branch and it snapped, what did you say to yourself? I thought he was going to die. You thought he was going to die. And then you move further down the gully. And then I seen the second branch. And that's when I pushed up to hold that one. Good thing you're six feet two, sister. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible. Yeah. It's good thing you are Tremaine. That's one of them lying on. And I'm talking about, yo, your NBA people anywhere in the United States, anywhere all over the world. Tremaine is six feet two. Tremaine can be a basketball star on any team. And I think he should be a star because he'll be a shining example for all of the NBA players to stand beside a real hero. So with your long arms, yeah. right, you do one of the Michael, Michael <laughs> Jordan dunk, right? Yeah. And that's a bomb and grab it. <laughs> and it worked, right? Yeah. So what happened? Well, what? He could have let go the youth to see it himself. Exactly. He didn't. So that is something else. True. That when you find yourself in it's difficulty. It's difficult, difficult, yeah. yeah. You ask why you can't manage it. So yeah. you could have let go the youth. Well, if you could have let go the youth. You understand me? And yes. he didn't do that. So Mikey. he can do that. I went to hear my mom tell him father said just God work, you know. God work. Nothing else. Because then, even though what, what my friend Michael uh, Smith is saying, even though he jumped off into the gully, ladies and gentlemen, and he grabbed all the little Ronaldo, <laughs> right? Going through the gully, he started getting into difficulties where he found out that his own life now is gone. So he could have easily said, Boy, I'm a boy cut that arm and abandon that thing yeah. and let go the youth and to save himself. Yeah. But he didn't do that. And, 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 and ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want most of you guys out there that are not doing good. You're creating problems in your community. You're, you're killing little kids. Be like a Tremaine Brown, ladies and gentlemen, because Tremaine Brown is a shining example of what a real, genuine hero is. Now there's a lot of people all over the world, including my friend Fred from Toronto, who has an interest in uh, Tremaine. Uh, there's a lot of other people. So I'm going to ask his father, what is your contact number, Mr. Brown? Uh, my contact number is on 278 The area code, ladies and gentlemen, is 1-876-278-4713. And you can get Stanford Brown, the direct father of Tremaine Brown. Um, I brought a gift for you, man. Yeah, uh, I was at my house and I said to myself, the spirit tells me that I have to go see Tremaine. And in coming to see Tremaine, I said, I'm going to bring something for you. Because I know that Tremaine, you know, got into so many difficulties and he had to leave the England to come to Jamaica. He might not even have a bank account because there's a lot of people all over the world might want to get in touch with Tremaine. So I said, I want to be that person to start you out with your bank account. I'm going to make a donation for my heart of $10,000, man. I'll give it to you. Here. Tremaine, I give you for my heart because I think you deserve it and I think you deserve millions more. Okay? There's a lot of people that love you all over the world, man. And a lot of people will reach out because nothing is happening for you right now. You're here, what, about six months now since you came down from England? Yeah. Don't worry about that. That negative has now been turned into positive. We turn stumbling blocks into stepping stone, uh, negative into positive. Why you came from England? Nobody knows, but the Almighty knows. Little Ronaldo knows. So thank you very, very much. You can go now, open up your account, man, right. and have fun, okay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. What's the address here? Um, four, four 
14 Lower First Street, Kingston. Lenny, we are at 14 Lower First Street in Rima, Trenchtown, Bob Marley Place. Right next to the culture yard. Right next to the culture yard, as my <laughs> friend Mikey said. Man, this has been a wonderful thing. Uh, Tremaine, I know your life is going to change now tremendously. Uh, just be careful in making your decisions. There's a whole lot of vampires and a whole lot of vipers that's going to come clutching at you. Stick close to your dad. You know, listen to your fathers because he's the one that made you. You understand what I'm saying? He's the one that was there with you through all these ups and downs. Stay close to that, no matter what. Hang in here with that. And of course, Michael Smith, a very, very good friend of mine, a person that I know is trustworthy. I trust Mikey with my life. And I know Mikey will steer you also and make sure that what you achieve, the order of distinction for bravery, that you're going to get next mm -hmm. month. I want, and I'm saying, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Onis, I know that uh, the process of selecting your awardees might be closed. But this very uh, tremendous feat of bravery can kind of help your Zosa program and bring some healing to Jamaica. Because what Tremaine has done, he has demonstrated to the citizens of Rima, they call him the Trench Town Hero. He has demonstrated that he has nothing. Did you have any money in your pocket when you jump into the, not a dime, right? See, ladies and gentlemen, he didn't have a dime. All he had to give little Rina Ronaldo was his life. And he, and, and he just said, take it. So thank you once again, my brother. You're a great human being. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Lower First Street, 14 Lower First Street in the yard. What's the name of the church? New Independent Baptist Church. The New Independence Baptist Church. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tremaine is going to open up his account in his name. And of course, we're going to post the account number along with the contact number for his father. Are you not on Facebook yet? No, you're not hearted. Not Tremaine, you're not on Instagram. You're not on YouTube. But you're all over the world, you're on CBN, you're on TVJ, you're everywhere. But more you have your more you have your Facebook account so your fans you have fan base now, you know. Yeah. You have millions of people in Africa, in Switzerland, in France, in the United States of America, in Britain, in, in, in Jamaica. The fourteen parish are here at home. Okay? So you need to open up that, get your own fan base going. You need to have your 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 Instagram account. Right? You're getting your new phone, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So after you get your new phone, you establish all those things, your email address, because people will want to talk to you from time to time, your Skype, yeah. because people from all over the world is going to want to talk with you. And uh, because very rare, you're like, you're like oil in Jamaica. Very rare we find someone that can give his life in a situation to save somebody else. And that is the bravest thing anyone could ever do. I want to take this time out and big up my friend Sandra. What is your name? Mm -hmm. Patricia. I want to take this time out and big up Sandra. And I want to big up Patricia. And of course, the cameraman is Michael. You know? Just like Mike, you know, you say, well, big soul, make sure you get me near me. That the thing. So everybody's in the thing. Stanford, who you want to shout out to? Who you want to? I want to thank um, the people of Trenchtown. Yes. Um, First Street. My heart beats. Yes. Yeah. Thank everybody for the help of my son. And I just want to say to the people, just be safe with God. Just be safe just with God. Just be safe in the arms of God. Because mm -hmm. with God, all things mm -hmm. are possible. Mikey, what you want to say, man? Well, I mean, the last thing you want to say, and the only thing I say. Yeah. Like, trench down, did it. I mean, this is what Jermaine did. Is a message to the rest of Jamaica and the people I mean, in the communities that causing disruption. This is a time now you just look into yourself and know say, oh, we can do better in everything. Actually, Jamaica is one of the most beautiful places in the world. We go all over and Jamaica is the place. But just one thing keeping us back. And we need to just get rid of the negative and just stick with the positive and all things is possible. Mikey said yes. to me, them said nothing good can come out of Trenchtown. Oh. 
Big Stone say, a lie who not tell. Oh. See ya. So Tremaine, what you want to say, man, in, 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 in party? I just want to say big up to everyone mm -hmm. in Jamaica and big up to everyone that's supporting us. You see? Mm -hmm. yeah. Not a problem. And um, I was told to give you the special message. My friend who is from um, Ghana, his name is Kwaku Ampufu. He says to send personal uh, regards to you, man. And thank you very much for doing something like you did. Maureen Gutsmore again. She lives all the way in Germany, right? She says to send enough love and respect. Uh, my wife in New York, Domali Sinclair, my twin boys, Sean and Shane and Claudia, and my son Ryan, everybody send their love for you. Also, Bonnie Owens, she lives in Toronto. She says to tell you that she loves you from the depths of my heart. Now, these are all people that you don't know. But guess what? They know you. Know you. <laughs> all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know. is that who you know? So, ladies and gentlemen, Basketball star, what again? No, I know your name. You know your name. You have to tell me your name, Brendan. Basketball star, football, how again? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Tremaine Brown coming to you from 14 Lower First Street. Thank you very much for watching, man. I had a ball. Big up.